Hey everybody, Justin here for some more of knocking the camera around so it's very hard to, you know, make everything look good. Back for some more Arkham Horror. Finn Edwards, this guy's going to continue his journey. This time he's taking a train ride from Arkham to Dunwich. And if there's one thing Finn Edwards knows about trains is that it's a crazy cluster. So, I have my starting stuff here. You can also see right over here the changes, Necronomicon. Upgraded my pickpockets, got rid of one I'm out of here and changed it for a lock picks, which seems very good with Finn. Uh, because these ones don't really have an impact on the game, I'm going to take them out of the camera for you. And we're going to draw our opening hand. So, one, two, four, five. First things first, let's read the goal. As the train to Dunwich comes to a jarring stop, you look out the window uh, and see an immense tear. Great, that's exactly what we want to see. Uh, in the sky, like a rip in the piece of cloth, several of the rearmost train cars are pulled backwards and there's a dreadful metallic crunch. As they are detached, the train cars topple upwards into the rift in the sky. Nearby passengers are panic panicking, others are cowering in their seats, and one elderly man has fainted in fear. For doom, and we advance. Run! The train cars stop on a bridge high above the Miskatonic River. You might be able to survive the fall, but you don't like your chances. Your best bet is to make it your way to the engine car as fast as you can and get the train running again. Objective, if we enter the engine car, immediately advance. Let's see what's in our opening hand. We got a lock picks, a caught red-handed, which I'm going to just put to the side, two cheap shots, and a sneak attack. We got a moxie, so I'm going to keep the moxie, and I think, oddly enough... I think we're going to get rid of the other three. Dr. Henry Armitage, Unexpected Courage, and a Lucky. Okay, well this is going to be a weird start, but we're going to see how this goes. I'd love to draw Leo DeLuca, uh, just because having four actions a turn really counteracts what the game can do against you. So that's going to be my goal. Drawing something like Leo would be great. And just ways to deal damage, evade, because once again, the whole theme of this deck... Shroud of Four, that's pretty intense. Luckily we have lock picks. Um, that's the whole point of our deck, which is to... You know... Stop, a uh, Stop us from running into stuff. Alright, let's start this off. We're gonna start by paying three... For these lock picks. Because those seem very good right now. Uh, and then we're just gonna, we're just gonna push, push the objective. Let's use these lock picks and do eight to eight. I mean eight to four, sorry, eight to four. Because we get to add our skill value for this investigation. Plus one, so we don't break a lock pick and we gain this clue. Um, we cannot enter, so we're going to move, move to this one for action number three. Um, passenger car is connected to the locations to the left and right of it. Forced. After you enter a passenger car, you must either discard a card from your hand with at least one, um, question mark icon or take one damage and one horror. We'll get rid of this unexpected courage. That's fine with me. End of turn, we're going to gain a resource. We're going to draw a card. Oh, sh we got Leo DeLuca. He's going to be a long ways away. He might be worth it to, uh, just make sure I haven't missed anything for setup. He might be worth it. Alright, yeah, we added another minus two to our bag, so. It got a little bit harder. Add this, real top car. We have an emergent monstrosity right here. Rawr, fear me, I'm scary. You actually are quite square, scary. Quite easy for me to evade. But we'll worry about that when we get here. Alright. I think we're not going to move into that train car yet. But I'm going to do action number one. Boop. We're going to pick this lock. Eight to one. So I'm feeling quite good about this. Normally I wouldn't use my lock picks. None of them break. Because... Uh, I I feel quite confident four to one. And then the next two, we're gonna just gain some resources. End of turn. This guy readies, this readies. Gain a resource, draw a card. 
Oh, we drew the Necronomicon. That's really good. This kind of this hand's kind of just working exactly as we wanted to. Now let's see how this deck goes against us. Okay. Claws of Steam. This is how it works against us. Test brain three. We have one brain versus this three. Uh, minus one, so we'll have zero to three. If you fail, take two damage, and you cannot move this round. So it slows us down. Those can be quite lethal if we get to it. So I think action number one is going to be gain a resource. Action number two, we're going to spend the resource. I'm also just going to... I, I'm using a proxy, Leo DeLuca. And I'm just going to replace the Leo in my deck with it and shuffle. Not because the order of my deck doesn't matter. I only own one copy of the core set, but I want two Leos, so I use a proxy. And for you guys on camera, my proxy's atrocious. So I'm going to use a real, a real version of it. So that was action one and action two. I think action three and four, we're just going to gain some resources. End of turn, gain a resource. We'll draw a card. We got a pickpocket. And... Doom advances, and we draw a card. Huh. Another brain test. Rotting remains, test brain three. For each point you fail by, which is three, take a horror. So we'll take three horror, because... This is Finn Edwards' weakness, is brain checks, and this one is full of them. On the plus side, we're ready to start moving. So... I think for action number one... We're going to pick pocket. Action number two, let's move into here. Um, probably the cards connected to the location to the left and right of it. It cannot be investigated. Spend three clues. Discover one clue here. Ooh, that's a bit. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that was one, two. Action number three, we're going to try to evade this guy. Only four to three. I like those odds. Four to three, that's a zero. This guy will be evaded. Oh, that actually doesn't count. So I have, sorry, that wasn't an action because it's fast. I'm used to the old one. So one, this was action two. No, that was actually one free action. So we have three actions remaining. Holy cow. Um, so I only succeeded by one. So we're gonna gain a resource. So that was one. Action number two is going to be gain a resource. It's because I played you. Moved in. Fast, first action. Free evade. Action two is gain this. Action three, gain this clue. Action four, let's keep moving. Uh, after dining card is... Uh, cards revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a grappling horror and draw it. So this guy's going to engage with me. He has huntered and while you're engaged with grappling horror you cannot move. Okay. Uh, end of turn, this enemy is going to attack us. I'm going to actually put these on Leo because the Claws of Steam are going to put damage on him anyway. I spent these. Uh, we're going to gain some resources, which is just one. We're going to draw a card, which is Dario, which doesn't do too much for me right now. Advanced Doom. Whoop. The rearmost car of the train detaches as it is pulled backwards. To your horror, horror, it rises off the tracks and is consumed by the gate above you. Remove the leftmost car from the game. Um, cool, so we're just going to put that over here. Let's uh, 
Spread the love a bit. Uh, discard all clues controlled by investigators. Uh, the tear grows larger and you can feel the rearmost car of the train shaking as it is pulled backwards. The situation threatens to erupt into chaos as more passengers realize the danger they are in. Some passengers are looking for places to hide while others are running about the compartments in terror. Hmm. So we got terror from the beyond. I'm going to choose skill because I don't have any skills in my hand. And, uh, that's fine. That's golden. No cards discarded. That makes me happy. So I suppose action number one, we're going to try to evade this guy four to two. Minus two is enough to evade him, so we're going to put him here. We're going to exhaust this, I believe, to gain a resource. So that was my first free action. Action number one, we're going to move into here. Um, passenger car with at least two total brain icons. Well, uh, sorry, Dr. Henry Armitage. You are wild, so I'm going to assume I can do that. And if I can't, let me know on YouTube and I will correct myself. So this guy's right here. This has two clues on it. So I suppose action number one, sorry, action number two is going to be, we're going to play the Necronomicon. That one's not important for you guys to see, so I'm going to put it down here. Action number three is we're going to attempt to pickpocket this. We're going to go, eight, uh, sorry, five, nine to two. So even better. Ooh, that's minus three, which we don't fail, so that's good. Um, so free evade, move. Play the Necronomicon. Do that. Let's just... Uh, Go normally five to three. That is minus one. Cool, so we'll grab this other clue. We're making our way to the car pretty good. I mean, I'm not surprised. Finn Edwards seems like he's really good at hopping over trains and getting to his objective. So that's what we're going to keep doing. End of turn. This guy stands up. We're going to draw a card and gain a resource. Another Leo DeLuca. Place a Doom on this, and let's draw an evil card. Dissonant Voices. Cannot play assets or events this turn. All right, not a problem, because we're just going to keep the train moving, if you know what I mean. So, action number one. Let's move in here. Um, passenger cards located to the left and right. You must discard two book symbols or take two horror. Well, we have Dario and Leo, which both have a book symbol, and I'm not going to play either of those, so they are discarded. Action number two, let's pick a lock. We're going to go nine to three. Ooh, that's going to break a lock pick. Action number three, let's just go normally, nine to three. Sorry, five to three now. Five to three lock picks are broken this turn. Gain a clue. Action number four. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Yeah, because I can't do anything else. Yeah, we'll grab that clue. All right, end of turn. This guy's going to follow me deeper into the train. So that's probably going to be a problem later on. But right now, it's not too bad. Let's draw a card and gain a resource. Ooh, unexpected Courage is actually really nice. Uh, it's Advanced Doom. And we got an Acolyte. I'm going to put him right here because he's about to go fly and he is not my problem. Okay. Yeah, things are going pretty good. Knock on wood that it keeps going this way. I know this is a short one, so we'll be through this pretty quick. Uh, action number one. I think action number one, I'm using an Necronomicon to gain two resources to go to four. I think I'm going to do it again to go to six. Uh, we're going to play this Moxie for a fast action. And then... So that was 
One, two, fast, three. Let's move into the engine car. Um, search the deck for grappling horror. Oh, he's right on the bottom. Shuffle. And the discard pile. So these all get shuffled together. And he's going to engage with me. Move Moxie to the side, because you guys don't need to worry about Moxie. Um, and we'll advance this as well. Run. Um, the investigator entering the engine car reads the following out loud. A tender car filled with coal blocks your way to the engine cab. Swallowing your, swallowing your fear, you climb out the nearby window and clamber onto the roof of the train like an action star, making your way across the tender car. The steady backward motion of the train makes it difficult for you to keep your footing, and as you get close, a winged creature swoops down from above, its body composed of piping hot steam. I must decide to either do... A foot or a fist, and we're gonna do a foot, and we're gonna spend two of these to add two more. So we're going six to three. Six to three seems good, thank you, Moxie. Zero, so we will succeed. And now we just have to get the engine running. You've managed to make it to the engine car, but now you get the, uh, but now you have to get the engine car running, started again, so you can outrun the pulling force of the gate. All right, so what do we do this turn? We did two Necronomicon triggers, played Moxie, which was fast, moved in for three. I'm going to use a free evade on this grappling horror. Um, zero, so that's four. So we're going to exhaust this to gain a resource and draw a card. Sorry. This is at through two. And draw a card. We got stealth. That's not what we really need right now. And then I guess for my final action, we're going to try to pick a lock. And we're going to go 9 to 2. Plus 1. That's enough for a clue. And I'm going to say it. Things are looking good. Because we're just going to focus on getting through this okay. Okay. End of turn. This guy continues to hunt me. This guy stands up and engages me again. These are ready. We're going to gain a resource and draw a card. We got a dumb luck. Which is actually really good. Here. Uh, let's advance this doom. Uh, the next train car is ripped backwards with violent force. A middle-aged man hangs from his fingertips as the car flies unhindered toward the rift. In moments, the car is consumed whole and the man lets go rather than be pulled into the void. He starts to fall, but is caught by the rift's force and is pulled inside anyway. Remove this from the game. And uh, each enemy and uh, asset at that location is discarded. So this acolyte's discarded. This is removed from the game. Uh, discard all clues controlled by the investigators. Done and done. And now we're at rolling backwards. The pull of the rift in the sky seems to grow stronger and the entire train begins to roll backwards along the tracks. The rearmost cars of the train begin to rattle, the force of the rift threatening to detach them. You must get out of these cars as fast as you can. Evil card for the turn is... Uh, broken rails. Each investigator at your location loses one action. Each investigator at your location with four or more damage must also discard an asset he controls. We only have two, so we only have three actions this turn. We're just playing normal Arkham Horror. What a shame. Okay, action number one is we're going to attempt to evade this guy for free. So it's actually not even one of our three actions. Uh, let's use some unexpected courage to just make this good. We have six to two. Feeling good about this. The game is also feeling good about it. So this guy will be evaded. We're going to exhaust pickpocketing to draw a card and gain a resource. Unexpected courage goes. And then let's just try to end this and try to pick this last lock. We're going to go 9 to 2. So, lock picks seem really good with Finn Edwards. I'm going to say it. Minus 1, we're going to grab that clue. And then we're going to immediately advance. The engine roars to life and kicks into motion. You shovel coal into the engine's firebox and are relieved to see that the train is moving forward along the tracks once again. Resolution number 1. All right, let's do this. Scenario resolution, R1, sorry, R1. 
um, and victory display. It looks like we have one, two, and then two for my Sharon Zobel, so we're at four. You breathe a sigh of relief as the gate behind the train collapses harmlessly upon itself. The few passengers who survived the ordeal seem unable to comprehend what just happened. One passenger mentions a pipe bursting in the rear car, and that quickly becomes the explanation for the innocent and the ignorant. Uh, those who either cannot or choose not to delve in further into the mystery. You, on the other hand, know better. Although in hindsight, you wish you didn't. Um, neither one, no one was defeated, so nothing was kidnapped. And let's finish that scenario. Okay. Four experience to, to, to spend. This one was pretty easy. Once again, I'm playing on easy point five, so it should be easy. But like this scenario seems like it's made for Finn Edwards. The free evade action each turn to basically just neutralize an enemy that shows up without worrying about it. Plus being in the secret class and having access to Leo DeLuca, having five actions a turn essentially is huge. Lockpicks are also incredibly good because he has four book and four foot, so just lockpicking is eight. It's very rare that one of your lockpicks are gonna break. And I feel like if you're playing Finn Edwards, you wanna put lockpicks in your deck ASAP. Um, this one was a bit trickier at the start because there's a lot of cards that hurt me in this one. But once again, I feel like this was just really easy. Like we were only on agenda three. We had 10 more Doom advances without uh, an Ancient Evils showing up. So pretty good, pretty good. Now, a little caveat for what's coming up next. These four scenarios, the extracurricular, extracurricular activity, House Always Wins, Miskatonic Museum, and the, the train one, the Essex County Express. These are scenarios I've done quite a bit. Uh, the next ones, the next four, I haven't done them that much. So it's going to be exciting to play them, for, uh, play them again solo. I've never actually played them solo. This is about where my campaign ends. But because this one's so fun, and I actually think it's because I'm playing on easy .5, I'm able to see what my deck does, have the challenges that the game throws at me, but also just have a bit of fun with it. Um, and not stress too much makes it so that I'm very excited to play this. So I'm going to go with this one all the way until the end. We have two coming up. The next one I really like, Blood on the Altar. I'm excited to play that. Hopefully get some Zebulon Watley in my deck to help my brain power. So hopefully get some more Moxie consistency in my draws. And just let's see what I'm going to spend this for experience on. But thank you for watching. And if you like this kind of content, feel free to click that button down below the little like button. Subscribe to us if you aren't already. Let me know in the comments what you think of this deck and any changes you would like to make to it if this was your Finn Edwards deck. Uh, and the other, and otherwise, have a great one. I love you. And as always, GG's.